So here's the number one Bantamweight contender making his way to the octagon. Got to be some nerves here as he gets set to compete for the UFC Bantamweight title. No denying he deserves to be there. He's got the requisite win streak. He's got the finishes. He's got the popularity, the fan support. Now he needs the championship performance. We'll see if he has what it takes to unseat the incumbent. All right, so here he is, the consensus number one Bantamweight in the world, the UFC's reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion, and he's looking to make the walk out of the octagon with all of those same titles. He wants to be mentioned with some of this division's greats, all-time types, gotta win this fight tonight, make good on another title defense, and then his name creeps into that conversation. or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, presenting the challenger, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And now introducing the champion, fighting. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Uniondale, New York, presenting, waiting, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Al Jermaine Punk Master. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper. And also, in every performance we have seen to put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. There, good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. 
Watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Sterling's has got full mount now. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Right under the elbow. Beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice punch by Sean O'Malley. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? O'Malley's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Good exchange there inside. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Look at the whip action that comes from him pulling that kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. So we cross the 32nd mark in our opening round. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Final seconds of round one. He blocks How about those five minutes? All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept fighting at home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he would touch the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Trying to establish that job once again. Oh! Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Whoa! Oh, straight right. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. And they separate. Whoa! Oh, big diving punch is good. Two's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Attacking on bar. Armor's been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Sterling. The ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape 
this very, very dangerous position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, has the guard closed here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. to the feet now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And that's the end of round number two. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, Superman punch. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by O'Malley. Starting to do some really significant damage to the... Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, what a punch. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now Jermaine Sterling pulling it off. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called the stop to this contest at one minute, 36 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Sugar. Now, folks, we have a new UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World. And